Wakey, 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 wakey. It's time for school. Come on. Wake up. It's time for school. Come on, man. Hey, guys. Today we're talking about BRICS. What does BRICS stand for? Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. And I know that BRICS has been in the news a lot recently. There has been some questions about it. And if you haven't heard about it, you'll definitely learn a little bit about it today. And if you have heard about it, then you probably have seen things such as this. According to Investopedia, the name BRIC was coined by Goldman Sachs economist Jim O'Neill in 2001. BRIC as a name gained widespread recognition after the official formation of the group in 2006. The BRIC Association officially became BRICS after South Africa joined the group in 2010. According to Statista, in 2021, it is estimated that the BRICS countries have a combined population of 3.24 billion people, which is over 40% of the world's population. The majority of these people live in either China or India, which have a population of more than 1.4 billion each, while the other three countries, Brazil, Russia, and South Africa, have a combined population of just under 420 million. The main objectives of the BRICS Association is to engage in regular forums and summits comprised of emerging economies to voice their interests and concerns on the global stage to promote economic cooperation. The goal is to discuss and enhance trade, finance, investment ties, global governance, sustainable development, and other geopolitical matters such as agriculture, energy, science, technology, and culture. And of course, for the elephant in the room, which is why we all know we're here right now, de-dollarization of the greenback. De-dollarization is the movement to reduce other countries' reliance on the dollar, often with the goal of undermining the United States. And if the United States were to lose their world reserve currency status, then successfully undermined it would be. The next BRICS summit is planned to be held in South Africa in August of 2023. The five nation bloc will deliberate and decide on the launch of a new currency to settle global trade. According to Watch Guru, as of May 2023, this is the full list of countries that have shown interest in joining BRICS. I'll take a pause here to let you check out the list if you're interested. Among all the nations, Algeria, Argentina, Bahrain, Egypt, Indonesia, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates have formally applied to join the BRICS alliance. Some question, is time ticking for the US and the dollar? Some don't believe that it's an issue, and others say it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. So, what do you think? However you look at it, there are many different things to take into consideration, such as BRICS and applicant countries are primarily made up of emerging economies, which may not be able to support a change in world reserve currency. The U.S. is currently considered a struggling economy itself, but that also means that the others relying on the U.S. dollar are probably struggling as well. Some countries have already ditched the dollar, such as Iran, in a move to promote national pride and commitment to its own country and well-being. And with other countries calling for action, there is pressure on the U.S. government to come up with some countermeasures, and it's yet to be seen exactly what they plan on doing. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in the future. Anyway, so that's BRICS. I hope you learned something new. Like, share, and subscribe if you would like more. And I hope you have a good morning, a good afternoon, and a great night. Bye.